So let's quickly look at the effects of um, aspirin on heart failure. That's like how this aspirin can be used to improve conditions of heart failure that's in heart failure patients, right? So using aspirin to manage heart failure. So everybody here should know aspirin, right? But what will be confusing you guys is that not everybody will know that, okay, this drug actually has an effect on heart failure and all that. Right, so aspirin actually has an effect on heart failure. I would say that aspirin is not typically used as a primary treatment for heart failure. However, it may be used in certain situations, okay, to help manage related conditions or prevent complications of heart failure, right? So here are some ways that aspirin can be used in the context of heart failure management. It can act as an antiplatelet therapy. Now, we say that aspirin may be prescribed just to reduce the risk of what, blood clots and uh, stroke in patients with heart failure, right? And this is particularly in those with atrial fibril uh, fibrillation or history of what, myocardial infarction. So, antiplatelets, uh, you are actually trying to what, put out a fight against the platelets so that to prevent possible clotting. All right, because blood flow in patient that has this heart failure, blood flow could be sluggish, right? So you want to put out something that is preventing what possible clotting. The anti-inflammatory effects, we said that aspirin has some anti-inflammatory properties which may help to reduce inflammation in the body. And inflammation in the body is a non-contributor to heart failure progression. Then... Secondary prevention. Aspirin may be used to prevent further cardiovascular events such as what? Myocardial infarction or stroke, okay? And also, um, just in patients that have a history of heart failure, all right? So you're actually trying to like administer prophylactic measures because this patient was known to have heart failure before, so you want to prevent. Okay? However, it's essential to note that what aspirin have potential risks and interactions, right? Especially in patients with heart failures. Now, some of these risks and interactions inc uh, include there could be an increased risk of bleeding because it's using is an antiplatelet, so it's preventing clotting. So this clotting prevention could be could go out of hand, okay? And this could actually result into excessive bleeding. They can also interact with other medications such as warfarin or angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, right? And it's also a potential, there's a potential what, um, risk of worsening of kidney function because most of the drugs you take, their elimination is through the kidney, right? So it can have an effect on the kidney, right? So this is it about how we can be able to use this aspirin to manage heart failures. A recap. It is an antiplatelet, it is an anti-inflammatory. You can also use it as a secondary prevention. All right.